Hi and welcome back um, to Normski TV doing a transfer daily. This one's going to be really quick, not a lot to talk about, um, but let's first of all start off with Ben White. I know a lot of fans are being concerned concerning um, Ben White and obviously this deal, um, you know, we obviously was told a week or so ago that we were close to signing him that um, Brighton had accepted a £45 million bid plus add-ons. That seems not to be the case at the moment because um, Arsenal and Brighton are still in talks. Um, they're still a little bit apart on the fee. But obviously news was coming out yesterday and obviously today with regards to Man City um, throwing their hat in there and also Everton who, you know, obviously under new manager Rafa Benitez looking to gazump Arsenal um, and pay the full whack down, 50 million plus 5 million add-ons. Um, it seems as if Brighton want 55 million. Now, um, it get, does get a bit worrying. It would be a shame to know that, you know, we've been linked with this player for so long and, um, you know, for him to be snatched away from us under our nose, especially Everton. Now, I know they've got owners who are washed with money. Uh, they've got our ex-owners as well, you know, um, Houston off and, uh, you know, to just name a few but it's um it's it, it would be embarrassing again you know we lost out to um Leicester to Benduea and now not is it Leicester no Aston Villa sorry to Benduea now we have this situation with Everton now um Man City have to sell their player Laporte before they can even think about getting um Ben White but Arsenal was leading the race and I'm hoping they still are leading the race and um you know, it does get a little bit worrying. But um, um, according to um, Football London, it seems as if there's nothing to worry about. Now, I'm hoping this is the case. Um, it seems that um, the deal is almost complete uh, and that the Gunners are looking to complete the deal once the Euro 2020s are over. Even though Ben White hasn't really featured, um, he's obviously a part of the squad. He does want to come to Arsenal. Um, you know, he's told friends and, you know, maybe colleagues as well. Um, but at the moment, you know, when you get another team, you know, there's enough players or enough teams out there um, looking at this player. And um, it does get worrying when Arsenal seem to drag their feet when it comes to transfer business. So I'm hoping that Arsenal will get this one sorted out, get it over the line. Let's hurry up and get this guy in and let's just start business. Um, other news, um, obviously, you know, we're, we're linked with, obviously, Nuno Tavares, who looks like he's now imminently going to become an Arsenal player. We're hearing that he's had his medical in Portugal, and that's to do with the COVID restriction. It's probably easier for him to have it there rather than to come to England and then, um, you know, have the medical. Well, he has to go into quarantine first and then have the medical. I think Arsenal want to just get this one done, get it announced, and just really start getting things going um, with, with regards to that. So, Lokonga, if he's not already in London, um, just a case of him now um, signing that bit of paper, and hopefully um, he will be announced in the next couple of days. He will still have to quarantine. Maybe, I think, it, I don't know what it is. I don't know, it might be five days quarantine. It could be 10, I'm not too sure. But hopefully, um, it seems as he's passed his medical. That's according to the Portuguese press out there. That he's had his medical in, um, I think it's Lisbon. And now he's on his way over to um, England um, to, to sign on the dotted line. And then we can congratulate and say, welcome to, um, Nuno Tavares to Arsenal. Now, some other interesting news, and that's um, Sergio Ramos. Um, apparently, we're linked with Sergio Ramos. Um, he's a free agent from Real Madrid, left there in the summer, and uh, 35 years old. He's currently, I think, negotiating a deal with um, PSG. Now, PSG tend to go for players of that age and quality, you know what I mean? He's obviously going to go there and get a decent wage packet. Now, Arsenal, apparently, we're linked with him. He is a leader, but he's 35. To be honest, can't really see it happening. It's a rumour that we need to report, but cannot see it happening. Sergio Ramos, can you imagine, in Arsenal, we've sort of going away from these old players now and going for younger players. That's why we're trying to get this Ben White thing sorted out. Um, so Sergio Ramos, um, it's been said that we're linked with him, but 
the fact is, I think he's going to end up at PSG. And uh, I, I just think it's just another rumour. Arsenal, as I said, we're linked to FC. We're linked with everybody. So I wouldn't... I'll take that with a pinch of salt, to be honest. If it happens, I'll be absolutely shocked. But I can't see it happening, especially if we're trying to get Ben White. Now, another situation is William Saliba. Now, he was meant to be um, going to the Olympics with the, 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 um, the, the French team. Now, it seems as if now that he's pulled out of that or... They've not chosen him. I don't know if it's a case of that um, the um, Arsenal have decided to block the move or what. I don't know, but he will not be um, travelling um, with the French side um, to to um, uh, Tokyo. I think it's Tokyo. That's where the Olympics are. Um, he will then join Arsenal in pre-season. These are in the, the news outlets, if you just go and check it for yourselves. But he will be um, joining Arsenal for the pre-season. We don't know what his future is yet. Um, as we say, um, you know, his agents have been at Colney, Colney um, to London Colney to speak with Edu and to see what Saliba's future is. Right, he's going to look like he's going to join up Arsenal um, for pre-season training, which is good because we can at least get a look at him. But still rumours and stories are coming out that there's a possibility that he would end up going out on loan. Now, I would like to see him in the Premier League. Newcastle have been linked with him. I think Southampton as well have been linked with him. Um, that would be a good move for him, but at least we can see him first and in the Premier League. As I said, if we get this Ben White situation, it looks like there may not be a future for William Sleeper. Or will Arsenal end up selling him on a permanent? I would like to see him. Um, let's see what happens. If he can um, show up in the preseason, you never, you never know. Maybe he will change Arteta's mind. But that's the William Sleeper situation that he will not be going to the Olympics and that um, he will um, join Arsenal um, in their pre-season. I'm just going to go through uh, a couple more. There was one other one that I did see. Uh, and if I don't find it, not to worry, because it's probably nothing really um, serious. Yeah, um, the Gwendozi situation, again, spoke about it yesterday. Um, it seems as if Arsenal uh, want around about £17 million for him. Uh, Marseille are not willing to pay that. They want about £10 million. Um, they will want to pay 10 million. Um, so we're really far apart on the, the fee, but it seems as if for Arsenal just get him off the books, it means that Arsenal will probably gonna have to just drop um, their price. And it's looking like that that's gonna be the case. And I think at some point we will see um, Gwendozi leave Arsenal, but obviously for a much lower fee, but at least we'll have him off the books. Okay, he's only on 40,000 pound a week, but he's been a problem to Arteta and maybe he doesn't want a problem child. So. Hence why he's um, getting him out of the club. So that's really the news um, with regards to Arsenal today. As I said, there's not really um, much to speak about. You know, obviously, um, the internationals are back on today. Uh, we've got um, Switzerland um, uh, against, the, um, against Spain, where it's currently at the moment. I think it's 1-1 that we're speaking. Um, I think one of the players that got sent off, it might be a Switzerland player that's been sent off. And then later on this evening, Italy against Belgium. Big, massive game. Massive, massive game. Looking forward to that. But look, um, it is what it is. Um, let's see what happens tomorrow with regards to the transfers and rumours and see who else we will be linked with. LinkedIn FC, as I've said. Let's see what happens there. And hopefully we'll have some news concerning uh, Nuno, Tavares and Lokonga. Want to hear that announcement. Hopefully before the weekend, or the beginning of next week. Let's see what happens. Again, guys, thanks for subscribing to the channel. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you're new, subscribe and I'll see you on the next Transfer Daily. Take care.